Black Spectacles is the architect's website for learning design software. This is just one of thousands of tutorials we've built to help you stay current and stay a step ahead of the competition. After this video, check out blackspectacles.com to gain unlimited access to all of our courses. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps of setting up a brand new project in Revit. And what I'm going to do is take you through the process from the moment that you choose a template, open up the template, and take you through the process all the way up to the point that you start designing. Um, but before you even get to that point of starting in Revit, there's lots of questions that you need to ask yourself. You need to, what I like to call, define the project. Uh, define how everything is going to work, what are the relationships before you start actually working in Revit. It will save you lots of time and, and headaches later on if you plan out ahead of time how you're going to approach this project. So the very first thing that you need to do is define the project. Uh, you need to figure out how you're going to execute this using Revit. And the most common method for doing that is creating something that's commonly used as a BIM execution plan. Sometimes it's referred to as a BIM management plan. Basically, this is a document. It's uh, just a Word file that you type up or an Excel file or a combination of the two put together that basically explains how you're going to approach this project using Revit, using BIM. Um, for many governmental agencies or institutions, this is a required document of the contract. This is something that you have to do as part of the project. And this document basically does, when you really get right down to it, it does three things. Number one, it defines the BIM scope of work. What is going to be done in BIM on that project? The next thing that it does is defines the BIM responsibilities and procedures for everybody on the team. So it defines what the architect's responsibilities are, what the structural engineer's responsibilities are, all of the various people that are involved, what are they going to be doing on this project. And it also explains what procedures you're going to use on this project. What are your coordination procedures? How are you going to exchange models? How are you going to exchange information? All of that is spelled out very clearly in this, what is called a BIM execution plan. And the third thing that it does is it establishes project standards. So it establishes things like your project browser organization. It establishes how you're going to name your sheets, the sheet lists. It establishes how you're going to name your views. It uh, establishes line weights, object styles, all of those standard things that make the documents look the way that they look is defined in this BIM execution plan. Now there's a couple of different uh, places where you can find BIM execution templates that you can then build upon. Uh, the two most commonly used ones are one from Penn State University uh, and the second is from Indiana University. Both of these universities have developed a template by which you can take that template and make a BIM execution plan. Now personally I have written several of these over the years, and I have used the Penn State template more than the Indiana University template. Um, and both of these templates are very extensive. They have, it's pages after pages of information for you to fill out and complete in order to, to generate one of these documents. However, you shouldn't just open up this template and feel like you have to complete every single section of it. There's a lot of things in these templates that I feel go way overboard that are not really necessary. And I don't believe on any BIM execution plans that I've ever written, I have written them exactly according to the template. I've always changed them a little bit here and there, using usually leaving certain sections of them out, simply because it's just too much information that nobody's really going to read anyway. Uh, but if you need to create one of these BIM execution plans, you can go to one of these uh, websites and that is a good place to start. You can find the next tutorial in this course on blackspectacles.com. Just click the link below this video. And for other tutorials in architecture software, check out blackspectacles.com. It's the architect's website for learning design software with courses in software like CAD, Revit, Rhino, 3ds Max, Grasshopper, Photoshop, and many more. Visit blackspectacles.com now to see more free tutorials and to gain unlimited access to our entire course library.